Are they going to get kept there? Because I've been asking them to put that down. You're just going through a normal workout today, huh? Huh? You're gonna do a normal workout? Uh, your typical workout? From.
That's good. Hey New England, Coors Light is going to keep you refreshed all summer long. Just share a pic of you and your friends enjoying refreshing Coors Light. Use hashtag Refresh Summer Sweeps and you can win great prizes as Coors Light refreshes your world all summer long. Just share a picture using hashtag Refresh Summer Sweeps and get in on the rewards. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Coors Light reminds you 21 means 21.
It's full of shit though. Like the amount of stuff that's in that bag. Crazy. That's a serious opportunity for, for, for Daniel and for John, Johnson and everyone in that light heavyweight division. So they're men with, with something to prove. And a man with something to prove is a dangerous man, like myself. So it's gonna be a good fight. The the Weidman Belfort fight is gonna be a great one as well. Weidman. Weidman's dominated Anderson, he's dominated Lyoto. He's a great champion that doesn't get the respect he deserves. So he's out to prove something. Then you've got Vitor, an old bull, to prove that he's still got it, you know what I mean? And he's, he's, he's wrecked everyone in the, in the middleweight division. So that's gonna be, that'd probably be the main event for me, to be honest, but it's gonna be a great car. It's gonna be a great car. Niggas broke and bank is injured. And bitches gon' grab on they think so winner. And now the smell and kick and take a picture. Uh we can deliver me a hundred dollar show and spend it all on my niggas. But I was shot and I told them kick once. Cause they was with me with the body see the big shit. I was about my kids, we just don't play the drop. I'm talking to niggas who be on there. Uh so don't touch. Now look up the niggas and baby girl, you see us here.
he grabs the ball, doesn't he? The new oil that has been gone is the coolest way in the memory yet. There's a lot of debate about how to eat oil cookies. You could split them in half and they're straight to the cream. Or totally soak them in milk. But some people just eat them. Well, but there's no arguing that the oil cookies are blended with creamy coffee and ice. They're delicious. Try this new method at McDonald's where medium oil frappe is just $1.99. Price and participation may vary. You will get to have Ahí está. Carol McGregor subiendo a un octágono, a un octágono realmente famoso. No es el más famoso del mundo, ¿no? Pero sí es uno muy importante. I love it. A canvas. That's beautiful. That's the only thing. You would cool you. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the 
Ako. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Russian. <laughs> Some water. Yeah. No, 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 I have my own water. This is brand new. Ah, yeah, you want it. Yeah. Give it to Ruddy. Yeah, Ruddy. Yeah, 
stap of zo, dan gaat het weer weg. Beter leg ook het goed, kom. Ja. Zo. Ah, nou, hier de voor. Ja, ja, ja. Sorry lads, can you just let us out there for a second? There's the bottom one on as well, I know. Where's someone with me water? Yeah, I'll leave it in there. Yeah, man. That falls over and bleed and go everywhere. Open again, lads. Just go. Check the door. Oh, that's good finish, man. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Ah, ah.
I love it. That's how it goes through your body. That's a beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> this is changing from the Ultimate Fighter gym yes. to the McGregor gym. <laughs> Love them as well. We will die. There is nothing there. Hand like it was done. Is this your like special place because you can see him? I'm, I'm trying to get up on him. I'm trying to get up on him, yeah. Bob now in a minute. I don't tear it right out. Thank you. 
Actually, uh, in the evolution of your camp. It's pretty good. This is this is every fire's dream. Every fire dreams of the uh, the ability to be able to change the weather. I can change the weather. I left Dublin with my dream. The fight is in Las Vegas. It's desert air out here. The clock is out here. You must get accustomed to it. We, we are in a position where we can come out here, set up shop in a big house, fly everyone from back home out here. The people who've with me, been with me from day one are here. I don't look around. I look around and see only familiar faces. So, how big of a group do you have in there? Right now, I think there's 12 in the house. We're chopping the change and we adjust as we go. Gunny is coming out. In five weeks out. Um, Carl, a few, a few of my other teammates, and I'm my wrestling coach Sergey coming out next week. I've got some pro boxing uh, partners that I spar with back home. We're coming out here. We can do whatever we want. We go by the feel of it. One day I feel I need to do something. We, we book a flight. I know you're no stranger to attention, but this experience today, is it, is it bizarre even for you? It's grown every time. I mean, it's grown every time. I mean, I was in the gym at 3 o'clock last night, 3 in the morning. That's, this is not my time to train. I don't train at this time. I wake up and I stretch and do yoga at this time and eat and relax. I train at 11, 12 at night. Um, so, but... It was fun, I enjoyed it. It's good to see everyone show, show, uh, turn up and show up. And uh, I appreciate every single person here. It, it means a lot. How close to a normal workout was this today? Just playing around. Just playing around. There was no. They were ringing around the same way. You're going to be in the cage, you're going to be in the mat. I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm just going to go and hump up the gym and mess. Hit the bag, hit the pads, do some yoga, do some balance work, mess around on the bars. Just, just playing around here. Have you ever imagined this Conor but McGregor it's like fever? That. It's all like that. It's all play. Have you ever imagined this Conor McGregor fever? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, always, I, I, I could believe it. And people say, yeah, I can't believe this is happening. But I can believe it and I did believe it. And that's why it's happening. What do you think about Brazil? I'm from Brazil. Do you believe you are the new Chael Sonny for Aldo? <laughs> Look, every, every, every contest they compare me to somebody new. I've been compared to Chael on many, many occasions. The, the Brazilians compare me to Chael. The Americans these days are trying to compare me to Muhammad Ali. I've been also compared to, I've been compared to Nick Diaz. I've been compared to Anderson Silva. I've been compared to everybody in, in the fight game. But I am just me, you know. This is just human nature. People look to relate you to somebody that they know, that they are familiar with. It's just human nature, people do that. But it, time will tell that I am not any of them, I am me. And the next young kid that's on his way up, he will be compared to me. It's, this, is, this is human nature, but I am not child. How much no, is not, marketing, not how much is true for you? Say that again, how much is How, how much is marketing? Is it true about the fight, about the... How, how, uh, it's do you love Aldo? See a message for Aldo now. Yeah, I don't love anybody. I don't hate anybody <laughs> either. I have no feelings towards anybody in this game. It's business. Business has no feelings, so... For me, it's, it's business, and business is good these days. Connor, uh, Las Vegas just saw its big, biggest boxing match of all time, but a lot of people were disappointed in the lack of action. Tell people why your fight with Jose Aldo won't lack that action. I mean, the fight, I thought the fight was okay. Manny, Manny went for he had a bust up shoulder. He still showed up in the night through his shots. He had Floyd more hurt than anybody had, had Floyd hurt. But then Floyd showed his, his grit and his defensive capabilities and done what he had to do. But it, it's a different sport. That's boxing. This is un, unrestricted, pure, unarmed combat. So the action is, is plenty. When there is clinch and there is tie-ups, it's not a hold waiting for the referee to separate. And then the action begins. It's continuous flow. People end up on the mat, up, down. And then you've got two, maybe people might say that Floyd and Manny were, were past their prime when they made the contest. This is two 
this is two uh, people in their prime looking to compete. So, but I don't really pay attention to that. This is this is my business, and I'll go out there to fight. Like I always do. I'll go forward. I'll push the pace. I'll hit him hard. I'll make him miss, and I'll be prepared to go wherever it goes. Come what did you think of with such an intense experience? How did you kind of decompress after that and get back to reality? Yeah, to be honest, I. It was it was a weird experience for for, for, for us, you know. It's, it was a lot of work for stars. You're put in in positions where you're face to face with a man that you're looking to take out. It's, it's easy to look and judge from the outside, but it's weird when you're in there. But I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed. It. I got to see the world. They had fun. I got in my opponent's face. We had a little bit of fun. It was all, it was all uh, good. But uh, sorry, what was the question again? Just how you came, uh, kind of got oh, back yeah. to reality. Oh yeah, after it, after it, you know, I knew I knew the body was his body was tired. I knew his mind was drained. I knew I knew. He's on his way out again. All you got to do is look. He's looking for his exit. Even his coach is on his way out. I read an, an article today that Pedernares is looking to retire now. You know, so th they are they are done on, with the game. I am only on my way in. So I knew his mind was was beat uh, throughout that world tour. I knew he would have flown straight back to Brazil. Went heavy, heavy, had a heavy rounds, heavy training, having the whole of Brazil on his back, pressuring them, pressuring them to beat this loudmouth Irish kid. Heavy, heavy rounds. The body breaks. That was about 15, 16 weeks out from the fight. The body breaks. I went to the beach. I done yoga. I done gymnastics. I worked balance stuff. I flew out specific individuals just to train, just to keep the body fresh. Now I'm out here. I'm all working. So the true greats don't just change. The true greats change at all. Tra change the approach to the business side. Change the shots that are thrown inside the octagon. And change the approach to training. And that's what I feel I am doing. What do you think of Frankie's win the other day? He might got into his mind. Say that one more time. Is there one a specific moment during the tour that you the think whole, like when you saw him out? All of it. I mean, they knew I was coming. You've got it. <laughs> they knew I was coming. Fight after fight, I burst onto the scene, called everyone out, knocked knocked everyone out, and then I'm like, ah, oh, he's he's not for real. He hasn't fought stiffer competition. Then as each individual continuously gets knocked out, then you've got to say, holy shit, now he's creeping up on me. You can still try and lie to yourself and tell yourself that this is a joke, this is not going to happen. And then guess what, then the Boston fight happened where I knocked my opponent down, bounced over the cage and went straight for him. Now there's no running. Now, there's, now, it's, now it's before you. So then the World Tour was just a combination of me looking them dead in the eye and, and, and telling him what was going to ha happen to him. And I knew he, he does not speak English, so I spoke in his native tongue in Rio de Janeiro. I told him he will die. And then that was it. Now, now that's it. Connor, you uh, you sent out a tweet the other day. The big equality vote is coming up in Ireland tomorrow. Yeah. Could you talk a little bit about that? And also, you know, taking a political stance. I know some fighters or some athletes don't like to do that. Um, just a it's, little bit. It's it's it's, it's weird. To me. My coach is like really big into into like protesting for it. Like, and he was explaining it to me. And I mean, we all deserve equal rights. You know? I mean, we are all human here at the end of the day. How? Regardless of colour, whatever gender, sexuality, any of that, it's all that's all meaning, meaningless. We are all human. We all de deserve the same rights. So it just feels right to me. There's a big vote coming up. I, I have a, a, I can put something out and it can reach a lot of people. So I decided that it was the right thing to do that, and I, my whole team done it with me. So we, we are we are proud to support that. How big is that day for Ireland tomorrow? That it looks like a, it is going to pass. It's a huge day. It's a, it's a, yeah, we hope so. We hope so. But we will see. Now, I, I just hope people will get up. If I was there, I would go and vote, but I am not in Dublin at the moment. So, I mean, I just hope, I hope it does. I mean, the, the support for the yes vote has been phenomenal. So, we will see. It's, it's Stone Age. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking, it's a new age. You know what I mean? It's time to get with it. What about taking Aldo's uh, belt in Dublin? Yeah, I was taking what was rightfully mine. I set him up, I put my feet up, he tried to mimic me, I jumped in, grabbed the belt and raised the high before my people. Same way in the fight, I'll go in, I'll set him up, he'll react to what I'm doing. I'll put him down, raise the belt, and boom, I just was mimicking what will happen July 11th in Las Vegas. Are you, are you afraid with Aldo? What? Are you afraid with Aldo? Afraid with Aldo? I fear no man. I've said this before, if you breathe oxygen, it's fair game, I will come and take you out, I don't fear nothing. Connor, when you talk, you talk about studying the game and studying fighters, you're watching out there. When I was listening to you in there, it seems like you're still finding things and finding things you're going to use. Yeah. How much have you been studying out there and seeing these no, different things? Just, it's similar to what every other athlete throws. They throw the same shots, they train the same way, they approach the game the same way. So I'm just reacting to everybody, what, what shots I will encounter off of anybody. They all, they all move the same, so it's just working shots and angles around that. But I'm always looking to learn. What's Connor, you, uh, you have never been afraid to uh, make a prediction. Are you pr uh, ready to predict a finish? I, I already said it will be done within four minutes of the first round. It will be a formality after that. It's up to 
It's up to how long he wants to stay in there. Like I said, he's on his way out. His body has taken a lot of damage. His brain has been rattled many times. His face has been disfigured many times. Now his coach is looking to bounce from the game as well. The game is designed to break you. It's, it's inevitable it will happen. This is, this is his time to, to, to be broken. So four minutes it will be wrapped up. How long he lasts after that will be a formality. What do you think of Frankie Edgar's fight and you know the potential matchup you could have if you become the champion? It might have a rematch with Jose or you might have Frankie. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. That, that wrestler question is definitely a question I want to answer. It, it's a question that the fans want answered. It's a question that the media want answered. How will he react? But, and, and a guy asked me the other day, is, is it personal? Do you really want to get in and show everyone what you can do and you can take these people out? It's never personal. It's business. And business is business. They want to see me tested against the wrestler. They believe that is a question that is yet to be answered. So if it's good business, I'm in it because I'm in good business. Who will win the next fight for you, uh, Vitor Belfort or Chris Weidman? The Brazilian guy or the American guy? It's a, it's you prefer the Brazilian, right? It's, it's, <laughs> I, I, again, nationality, gender, color, any of that shit. I don't give a, I don't care about any of that. You know, it's two men coming into fight with a lot to prove. I feel Vitor is an animal. He's been around the game since day one. He has knocked out countless people in the middleweight division, the light heavyweight division. He's an absolute animal, but he still he still has a lot to prove to himself and to his fans that he can still mix it up there. And then on the other side, you've got Chris Weidman, a phenomenal champion with phenomenal skills. He's dominated one of the greatest Anderson Silva. He dominated Lyoto Machida, but still doesn't get the respect they deserve. So you've got two men with, with a point to prove coming in head to head. It's going to be a phenomenal contest, and thankfully, I will be ringside to enjoy it. I don't give a prediction. I don't care about nationality. I don't care about... I know there's a lot of questions. It's going to be huge. How, how big do you think it's going to be? It's going to be a record breaker. There's no doubt in my mind it's going to break records. I mean, Oli got it. He's a nut. <laughs> Look, I'm 20. I feel the pay-per-views will be a record breaker. Interviews have been a big big thing in the, in the UFC. Obviously, this is the biggest fight of the year. Are you doing anything special to prevent and make sure that, that you're able to fight on July 11th? I'm not diving into sessions. I'm playing. It's about keeping about killing yourself and taking trauma all the time. You need your body to be sharp. You need your brain to be sharp. Your mind to be sharp. So that is what we are doing. We're just training intelligently and going by the field. That's why I have everyone that I've come up with from day one in a house, all on the wing, with all with one focus. It's, it's, it's world champion preparation. It's the evolution of fight preparation. That's what I said, the true greats. They don't just change shots in the octagon. They change everything. They change the business side of it, and they change the training preparation. That's what I'm in the process of doing. How do you stay on course? How do you stay on course with, uh, with all the success that you've had, and you're living well now, and you've got to keep that hunger. You don't want to get, get complacent at all. Yeah, I don't, I, for me, I can't stay. For me, there's energy and motion. As long as I continue moving, I am free. When I stay still, that's when I don't enjoy staying still. So it's not hard for me to stay motivated. I'm, so, I'm self-motivated. I'm motivated by movement and money. You talk about that's it. I'm sorry. You talk about your uh, your business. You're a businessman. Uh, obviously, the bigger the business, the more money gets involved. How much have you had to learn about the business side of it that maybe you didn't already know? I learn. I learn as I go, and I've learned a lot. You know. I have a phenomenal team with me, my, my, my management company, Paradigm, are phenomenal, they've taught me a lot, we've came up together, um, and, and I've learned a lot about the business, and then I've spent a lot of time with Lorenzo, with Dana, billionaire businessmen, entrepreneurs, you know what I mean, and I've learned a lot from them as well, so um, you, must, you must become a master at every facet of the game, and business is no, is no different, so... I, 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 I have learned from everybody that uh, is around me. You're pushing the sport. What about the Irish fighters? Yeah, They're growing a lot. Yeah, I'm 100%. Every Irish fighter now has a, has a platform, you know. The invasion has happened, and a lot of people have had success from, from, from my success, and, and it's a brilliant thing. The gyms back home are booming. Everything is good. It's good to be involved in the fight game back home. So you know, I am proud of that. About how you're going to beat Aldo, but I never heard you say about the other side. What's all those best qualities? Do you think you have uh, any good quality? Um, I mean, he's, 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 he's been champion for a long time. He can take a shot. He can fight through. But again, he's fought bantamweights. He's fought small 5'5 five five bantamweights. That's, that's, you're going against a guy with 5'9", 74 inch reach, the range is too much, and then the power is another animal altogether. So I respect him for, for battling through his rounds and sticking it out, but this is, this is it for him now. You know, but, what's your opinion on that? You know, going back just real briefly to Mayweather Pacquiao, 
You mentioned that the Pacquiao had a busted up shoulder. Ah. And there's actually a lawsuit with people saying, you know, well, that fight should have never Dickens. happened now because we Dickens. paid for something. But if you were, if you knew you were going into a fight and you required surgery like immediately after, you're still fighting, you're still going in there, and you think the fans should take that and give it, you know? That's that's up to the, the fighter. He didn't, did he get stopped? Did he get hurt? He landed the more powerful shots. He might have came out with a sore shoulder, but Floyd came out with a, a guarantee of more, more shots to the head. So, Manny showed up and he fought, so I, I have respect for that. If you can if you can show up and fight and do your job. As far as that lawsuit, that, that's ridiculous to me. You got what you paid for, you got to fight. The two of them came in and, and throw shots. Everyone is going to complain. There's always something. You know, I just had a nice conversation with your friend Tom Egan over there. He says he's known you since you're about 15 years old. Has your circle of friends gotten smaller, though? Have you had to let some people go since your success? No, just not really. Just the, the right... It's not about letting people go. It's just the, the right people form. I just form naturally into, into where I'm at now. I believe we, I have a phenomenal team, a phenomenal circle of people. Um, I give out good, good, positive vibes and... and um, I show loyalty, so it attracts good people. Two years ago, we stood in Louis Copeland's trying on bow ties. <laughs> you said this was going to happen. You said this is where you would be. <laughs> so where are you two years from now? What's what's the next two years? I'll continue to be at the top, that's for sure. I'll be 28 years old with a game wrapped up in a little bow tie. <laughs> Connor, when people talk about you, they talk about how well you promote, how well you talk. Does it bother you? Do you prefer? Would you wish that they would talk about your technique, your fighting ability? They've got it. They've got to tell themselves something. Oh, he's got this because he can do this. It's not because of what he can do better than me. It, again, human nature. People, people will put it somewhere so that it's not eclipsing them. But it's it's the whole package here. I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk, and, and that is it. You could bring any, you could bring any of the champions back, any of, of the people who ran the game before, back in my time, and I would still run the game. What do you think it is that makes you special? I haven't a clue, I'm just being who I am. I don't really think about it. Connor, going back to, to the wrestling um, uh, question you, you said, who do you think you have a most exciting fight against Frank Edgar or Chad Mendes? I, I put them in the same bracket. I think Frankie's got a bit better boxing than him. Um, he puts his shots a little bit better, better, better than Chad. I think Chad is more of just a wrestler with an overhand right. He swings his overhand, looks at the floor, closes his eyes, and hopes for it to land. To me, that's novice. That's day one beginner stuff where I come from. Um, Frankie's a former champion. But they're both in the same bracket. It, it makes no difference. As long as I'm on the card, as long as it's me fighting, it's a big fight. Are you fighting to Mexico to support Cajal? I am not going to Mexico to support Carl, but he's out there doing his thing, chasing him down his dream, and I'm nothing but respect for Carl. He's out there setting up his team as well out there. He's coming after the fight. He's going to come out here and continue to help me prepare. And my coach John is going to head out for like, maybe two weeks before the fight. So I will be certainly glued to the telly room for my uh, country man. Carl's been a, a long-term training partner of mine. And um, I've no doubt he's going to go in and, 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 and dominate in, in his opponent's hometown. Connor, you're confident you're beating Aldo. You also think um, the Irish fans taking over the MGM Grand, Grand Arena? 100%. It's going to be, I'm going to say 90% for him in Orange in there. That's what I think. What was it? I think it was like 25% came from Ireland. Then you've got all the Irish that are actually living in America. And then you've got all the Irish Americans. You're going to have maybe 8% Brazilians and... and, and Two percent random, you know, but I think it's going to be a green, white, and orange event, and um, I hope that they open up the whole MGM Grand for the weigh-ins. This is one of those times where it's time to open up the whole MGM. Don't just half the arena for the weigh-ins. Open up the whole thing. Let people who who are showing up just for the festivities, who are not lucky enough to get a ticket, let them show up at the weigh-ins. Let's blow the roof out the place. Let's show them this is this is the big the big game now. This is the big time now. So I, I hope that's what will happen. But we will see. You're in a good situation with Reebok. Some people aren't uh, as fortunate. You know, is there anything that you would say to the other fighters who aren't happy with the deal? I mean, if, uh, I, I, it is what it is. You can either sit and you can moan and complain and be bitter about it and, and, and let, it, let the energy take over you and then more bitterness will come, more negativity will come and it will grow and grow and grow. Or you can sit back and say, it's time now to, to, to put in the work, to get that, them Reebok sponsorships, to get them big sponsorships. You need to put in the work, you need to show up, you need to say what you're going to do, and then you need to go out and do it. You don't need to be fake, you don't need to do anything. Be yourself, say what you're going to do, show up and do your job.
be positive and, and good things will come. You know, this this is the game we are in. You cannot expect to be you cannot expect to be debut two, three fights in and, and wins and losses and middle of the road and not generating anything and expect to be given everything. You've got to go and you've got to take it. So that's I am blessed that I, I, I see things that way and that everyone else should see things that way. Tom, are you tired of talking about Jose Aldo? Have, you've talked about him so much in so many years. I haven't different. really talked about him. It's just I'm talking, I'm talking about them all. You ask me a question, it's, it seems to be rinse and repeat with a lot of them. Just talk. This is the business we are in and I love this business. Connor, don't you think that look like you are already the champion for the UFC? You are here living in Vegas, you using the UFC facility. It, it's a good for the UFC to be uh, at you with well, not, not the, the champion. Was, nothing was given to me. All you got to do is look at the numbers I generate. In fact, they own me. They own me for what I've brought in. So this, if you look at this fight, what, 7 million gay? Let's say she clears... Uh, a million pay-per-view buys. You're talking about crazy. Think how much money that is. Sixty dollars a pop. Uh, uh, one million pay-per-view buys. Don't think I won't count every single number that has been generated from this whole card and, and putting it before Lanzo and putting it before Dana and letting them know that this is my work. So if anything, they own me. You talk about destiny and this being and your visions of this being something that you envisioned happening. Do you take any time yet to still just sort of appreciate that the process Every has day. gone through and, Every and day. you've been able to make it happen? Every day I wake up and I'm grateful. I pinch myself every day. I walk down, my whole team is around me. We eat good, we live good, we train smart. The sun is shining. Life is good. What's it, mean, what's it mean for you to be able to have all of these guys here that are training behind us that wouldn't get this opportunity otherwise? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, a, it's a perfect combination. We've got a great, uh, we've got a great team going. I've got the people who have been with me from day one, my sparring partners, my pad man, my coaches, John, my, my, my main coach, I've got my wrestling coach, I've got everything here. Then we've got the youngsters that, that, have came up, that, that have came up from like 10, 11, 12 years of age who are now hitting that 18, 19 age. You know, that we, we built up and, and given them this whole experience of a lifetime, it's all just forming into something spectacular. So this is it, it's perfect. And there's no there's no egos, there's everyone knows each other from years on, on the mat together. So it's it's the correct way to train in this game. Having your camp here in, in Vegas for so long, do you actually venture out into the city or do you prefer to sort of uh, keep camp closed? As in Vegas city? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I love that. Sometimes I'm heading out to the strip. Uh, the Caesar Farm shops is pretty cool and some really nice shops down there. But I like to go shopping sometimes. Bring my, my girlfriend only got in from Dublin the other day, so I said I'm going to go shopping tonight. But I, um, the shops in the Cosmopolitan and what's that called? Right? Crystal shops. Yeah. The, the really nice uh, shopping mall there. So I go down to the strip and, and, and shop and. But for the most part, we are, because with the weight cut and stuff like that, we are eating at home and, and, and relaxing at home. Is there anything you could worry at some point could become a distraction, even for your partners or your team? Yeah, there's, well, there's, 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 there is distractions everywhere, you know. When we first came over, we were here for two weeks, grinding, 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 and I could feel temptation building in everybody. The bright lights of Vegas, people want to go out, and it was, it was I think it was two weeks ago, or maybe last week, or I was like, all right, we'll go out, we'll go to a club, we'll chill. We can we can have a little, we can blow off a little bit of steam, get rid of that temptation, and, and we went and we done that. We had a good night. We came home. Then then it, now it's done. So now that temptation is killed, nice and early. So if you if you let it build and build and build, and then people start getting agitated and wanting to go out and do other stuff, and then then it leads into something bad. So we killed it, and and now we are focused again. So it's it, it, we have it to a, to perfection. How would you describe the feeling of being at the octagon? A lovely feeling because they, they only put that canvas down today and I'm going to try and get them or yesterday I think but I'm going to try and get them to leave it because it's such an unusual canvas like the feel on it and the grip and, um, and being in the ground the ground and mats and stuff like that because I think like they all play a, spe a specific part you know if you can like if you were to be if I was to be training on this kind of canvas here like this concrete and skipping and like you'll see and then you jump into into the cage it almost all of a sudden feels like quicksand or if that, that mat is completely different than that mat. So it's always a benefit to be able to train on, on the actual mat you'll be fighting in. So, But for me, I love that in there. I love that canvas. I watch back any of my fights. I rub my feet off it and I just feel that feeling and then the crowd is gone. It's, it's, it's what I live to do. Jose said that he, had a, he has an announcement to make after the fights. What do you think it is? 
who, who I, I don't know. All I know is just maybe maybe it's announced that he's gone as well because his coach is gone. How's his coach gonna say he's gonna retire when his when his fighter has the biggest fight of his life coming up? Come on, what's that? They're doing it in with the game, and I, I respect that the game. It's a it's a it's a it's a long game. It's the, like I said, it's designed to break it. But if it's if maybe 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 he ditches coach. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's he doesn't seem to be training with Andre too much. Maybe Andre can come over here and he can chill out with me and hold pads for me, and we can we can do a little bit together. Maybe that's no problem. If he wants a job, he can he can have a job here. Um, but who knows? Maybe I don't know what his announcement is. It, it does not make a difference what his announcement is because I will have the belt. Do you like all parts of this game? I mean, being here, all these events, all these interviews. You don't get to this level otherwise. You don't get to this level unless it's 24/7. So I love every every facet of the game. The story behind the tiger tattoo. Um, I don't know. I just was floating through Venice and I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna get a tiger." The tiger has been jumping out at me sometimes. Um, I feel like animals mean something or something else. So I think the tiger is a courageous animal. Uh, um, so I just I like the tiger and I decided to go and get it. For me, I like ink. I like the feeling of it. I like getting the work done. And, and I like the way it looks. It's a tender spot though down there, isn't it's it? Actually, to be honest, compared to the chest, that right there was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. So when he was doing the stomach, I was actually, it was actually kind of nice. Like, maybe it's some sort of therapeutic thing. I, I don't know what it is, but I like getting them done. And I will get more of them done. I know Dan doesn't like them. Lorenzo doesn't mind them, but Dan... Dan How many do I think there's about five all, on, all to get on this. I don't know about. And what is weird in this one? This was when I was drunk. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my that one time. Yeah, that one time. That was that one. Time. But do you know what is weird in it? I, I, it can could, be anything. It could mean anything. I, it was an, It was Arabic writing was a thing for a while. It was the cool thing to do. But I, I was following the trend back then. So maybe maybe one day I'll get that get that covered up. I don't know, but. Do you know where do you do it? I got it in Ayanape. It was like a. Like a party kind of. I was young and on holiday. <laughs> cost me 20 euro. You uh, you've obviously had a lot of success, and I know you know, like all fighters, like all people, you like to go out and enjoy yourself. But we heard Dana the other day say there's two ways you can go with that. You can become Ronda Rousey, you know, very successful and stay centered, or unfortunately you can go like John Jones, where he's had a lot of problems. How do you stay centered and not, you know, have fun and enjoy life, but not get into those kind of situations? Keep keep your team around you. I mean. I've met John many times, and John, I, I, I love John. He's a great, he's a great man. He's a great fighter. But his 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 decisions and his choices, I don't understand how. You know, you've got millions in the bank. How can you, how can you be in a little desert town in Albuquerque, you know, a little rental Buick, and you not know, driving? It's, it doesn't seem like the life of it. You know, I, I cannot put myself in that. So I, I keep my people who are with me around, and from that have been around from day one. Um, so I don't know. I wish I wish John well. But I cannot put myself in that shoes, and I don't know what the difference is, or I'm, I don't know. I can't, I can't put in the words that. Couple more minutes, guys. Do you think his team failed him then? Did you think his team should have been there a little more for him? I cannot speak on that because I don't. I don't know. I just tried to. <clears throat> I just tried to put myself. I, I tried to understand the situation. How like? I can't understand it. Like get a driver. Get a driver. Get driven. If I go out now, I'm driven in a fucking limo. You know what I mean? You've got money, you've got... I don't know, it's just a weird situation, but I, w I wish him well, and I wish he, you know, I, I hope he gets his head together and comes back, because he's a great man, he's a great champion, and I, w I wish him well. Do you think the new rules the NAC has uh, instituted uh, are good? Do you think it's good? Do you think it would have helped yeah. John if uh, maybe they would have had these rules uh, in place before this time? How would it have helped? I, I, I because they expanded uh, the out of uh, competition drugs right. that they were going to regulate. Yeah, I, I don't know how to compare it to John's situation, but it's it's great that they are cleaning up the sport. You know, it's I have not been tested yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm out here in Vegas. Let's let's the fight is what seven eight seven and a half eight weeks out. We should be tested right now. I want to be tested right now, and I want him tested over there as well. Um, I I want the sport clean. Make no mistake about that. So. Um, it's good that they are open the open the ante and, and, and testing more regularly and ban the bans are more lengthy. It's it's the right way it should go. It might there might be a period where a lot of people are getting caught or whatever, but throughout the time the cream will rise to the top and that that's what will happen. So it's a good thing for the sport.
kind of do you think some guys just aren't built for the limelight that they just can't handle the stardom? Like somebody like John Jones or maybe other people, they just they just kind of fade when the lights come on. Um, yeah, there's people who are world champions in the gym, but when the lights shine, they they their light goes out. So I, I don't like. Uh, yeah, there are people like that. I don't know why, but I, for me, when the light goes on, my light goes on too. Do you still feeling the same thing when you win the first time and I don't know winning the belt? Uh, it's better than any feeling you can ever imagine. It's the most addictive feeling on earth. That feeling of victory, that feeling of hard work, preparation. It's a beautiful feeling. All right, boom! Well, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you. For I really appreciate Thanks. every single one of you here. <laughs> Guys, the shuttle is actually waiting outside. So I remember that. I've been streaming all this live to YouTube. You have a final word for your fans? Your people are coming in. Uh... Thank you for your support. I am truly grateful. July 11th is going to be a special occasion for myself, my country, my team. Tune in. Buy it on pay-per-view. Buy it twice. Watch it alone. But well, thank you, everyone, for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, I uh, let's, let's walk and talk over here. Wait, I don't want you to, to bang in anything. We we'll come over here for a sec. But um, I, don't know, I guess people have seen the tough gym a lot. Oh no, <laughs> that's a very extreme close-up. I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, but no, we hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Uh, props to uh, Wade behind the camera. You guys don't see him much, but he's the one who's the technical genius. And. Um, it's funny because people have actually asked us, like, hey, how do you guys do that? And we're like, just Coke, tell Pepsi what's up? I don't think so. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Listen, we have a lot of stuff. Today was Ultimate Media Day. So we got a lot of interviews, one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews. I have Andre Arlovsky, Donald Cerrone, I have Benavides, uh, and uh, Moraga. I have Makovsky and Dodson. I've got John McDessie as well, uh, along, you know, flip side of Cowboy. We already have up interviews with Travis Brown, DC, and uh, yesterday we have the scrums for, um, we've got Chris Wyman, Vitor Bell for uh, Rumble, and um, of course, uh, I said Vitor already, Rumble and another one for DC. We're just, you know, we're double dipping on the DC, because what am I going to do? But uh, that's all on the uh, playlist. If we have a little one, you can bookmark, if you can follow along, Tiny URL dot com forge one eight seven and so we're uploading everything to that and obviously this one is for usc 189 but it's on that playlist but there's a ton of stuff there already uh open workouts lots of interviews and that's where everything will be uploaded from here on in of course we're going to go to the weigh-ins we'll have the q a uh though i can't at this moment remember who the q a is with tomorrow um but saturday you know we hustle and we'll have a ton of stuff for you so uh thanks for for doing this today and if you just jumped on this late it gets archived and there's a ton of it here um and so you can just keep watching uh, i mean you can watch it again from the beginning and lastly if you haven't checked out the MA Heat podcast yet, uh, A, dude, why not? Um, and B, you should do. Uh, on this one, we celebrated. Actually, we have been doing it for about a year, and we celebrated that way. We got all uh, dressed up real fancy. And uh, it's actually Pete's birthday today, you guys. So um, the Heil guy has another birthday today. If you want to tweet to him, Mind Noogie on Twitter, uh, M-I-N-D-N-O-O-G-I-E, uh, or leave him a comment on one of the podcasts because it's Pete's birthday, and uh, and he's a good guy. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and um, watching all our MA Heat stuff. We really appreciate it. And uh, We'll see you around. Thanks. Stop the stream. You can film me going on. I'm gonna go turn it off. So this is our little portable workstation right here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look at that menacing picture of Shogun over there in the corner. Alrighty. So now we're gonna shut this down. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>